hello everyone welcome to another video this one is going to be a request and uh, actually i posted one of the videos called virtual machine on Vertinex, and it was in fact a request itself and then on that video i got two requests actually one is about gpu pass through that's maybe for later and uh, this is the easier one i can do quickly so this user pen xc requested setting up virtual manager on word Um one uh, thing as a matter of fact last time i properly installed virtual machine for production use it was about seven or eight years ago in general the process is very easy um, I, it's not on top of my head so i'll be googling of course uh, but it's very easy and then what matters is the security of your virtualization setup those are like advanced topics and then you can go and learn on your own all right so uh, we will just you know use a few keywords here let's copy this paste there and then white linux and that's it so you see uh, that's all it takes uh, let me open also reddit page i think it will most probably would be like a copy paste stuff any but let's also go to the verbatim source or the official handbook now uh, this article is part of containers and virtual machines we are interested in live word or live word whatever however you pronounce it and great so i don't know what the heck is wrong here but um it should work anyways so um we know that libword is a is an api for the visualization technologies kvm cameo Zion, etc normally we use these two and then to use uh these sort of technologies we need to install this package called libword then enable some services four of them four are mentioned here i think uh, dbus is always in enabled for almost i would say all users because they have a working system so we need to enable these only and then if we go ahead it's talking about wish something i hated back then as well is command line and i really can't get a hold of it so i'll pass it quickly then there's something about escalation of uh, privileges fine we'll see when when it comes and then we need to add our user to this group so we can um, use this all right so all right so and then we need to of course install the this package called virtual manager and then i will also install tools packages to make my life easy and in the meantime yeah it's there right so uh, you guys see how easy it is i just need to copy paste and i should be done but anyways uh, you can look up on your own and then i don't know what this guy's talking about compilation which i don't know why they would be compiling but anyways let's, let me close it and let me fire up my terminal so what we will do first of all um we will just do our typical package manager uh, i always like to add suv just in case i have to update something in the system it will take care of it and i need to install this package followed by Wait manager and then wait manager tools. Um, it's not found. I think I need to have a hyphen. Uh, oh, before that, I forgot something. I need to look up whether I want to go with KVM or QMU. So KVM, what? R S yes yes not remove oh god so query um I don't see KVM yes it's there so I'll install uh, QMU and then also the guest agents so fine I hope I have my command yeah so I'll just add QMU and then QMU GA, I think that would be all. All right, so let's download. 
it might take a while so i'll pause the video and i'll come back once it is done all right so we are back uh, done downloading and um, so we do have uh, whenever i install some packages i always look for uh, some uh, notes here in these lines that is scroll through so one of those notes are here i think it's here actually it's about some modules and stuff i don't really understand it and then uh, let me see all of this i think is useless so yeah let's go to the one i saw here yeah so this one is talking about that the user should be added to kvm group and then we need to mode prop some modules for intel cpus or amd i'm using intel so i'll be throwing this command now one thing if i go back to this article here it talked about uh libbird group and there we are talking about kvm group so i don't really remember the the difference i think okay i got it so it will work eventually whether or not i add it so uh, for the time being i will just add myself into a kvm group so my username is me and then oops so this is done and then I need to load some modules. Let's see. Uh -uh. Not supported. I think. Why would that be the case? Maybe because I have virtualization disabled in the BIOS. Maybe. But anyways, um, it may not run optimally. It will still run. Uh, using software emulation so uh, yeah normally actually I disable the features which I don't need I just tend to disable them for security or paranoia whatever you call it call it now live word uh, let me add this as well um, so live word Oh, sorry, this should be me. All right. And now we need to, as per the article, we need to enable these services here. Um, let's go to terminal again and look up for these services. These should be in here, I think. SV, yeah. So we are looking for uh, live word, which is there. Then we are looking for virtual log D and then log D. All right, so they are there. Let let us enable the service. And the way we do this in Word Linux is gonna be we'll be doing so using symlinks. So we will just do sudo symlink and see. And then we'll repeat the steps for other services which is weird um i forgot it is weird lock d and then log d great so it seems we are all ready we have installed the desired packages added the user to libboard and kvm groups and we also enable the services so let's go into our applications menu look up for virtual manager it says is connecting and uh, it should go through oh great so we don't have any errors that means it's gonna it's, it's working so now we'll just uh, create a new machine which again I, I believe you can do on your own i don't have anything uh, at hand so let me select something randomly i'm going to install apple mac they have mac let's say um gen 2 all right then so you know this is typical stuff that we uh, all know it's uh, straightforward 
um, I hope this video helps and if you have further comments questions please let me know in the comments thanks for watching have a nice day